we are. This is the Pacific Ocean. This is Firefighter Cafferata. We're going to cover tsunamis today. Eighty-five percent of them happen in the Pacific Ocean due to tectonic plates underneath the ground in the water, right? Movement of the tectonic plates that cause the waves to move upward, the water move upward, and then come back down, and that water has to get displaced, and it's like it's like basically dropping a rock or a pebble in a pond, right? It's a ripple effect, and that ripple, that water, travels at speeds as fast as a jet over 500 miles per hour around there. And when those, when the waterways come and the tsunamis come towards land, you'll notice a couple different things. You guys know what they are? Yes. This water here would recede out back into the ocean. It'd get pulled back out. And that right there is telling you that a tsunami potentially could be coming. Then you're going to notice the bedrock floor, right? Not a good sign. Did uh, someone call 9-1? Holy shit. That's a sign to not be on the beach. Now, tsunamis, they could be upwards of like 90 feet high, right? They could be miles long. I think of 60-odd miles long, right? They could potentially could be, right? But a tsunami doesn't just usually act in one, right? It's a tsunami wave goes in like a train and one wave will come in right that might not be the biggest might not be the strongest but in five minutes to an hour the next one could come in and it keeps on happening over and over so in tsunamis what do you guys do do you guys go a shelter in place near the beach no b hide under a table under a door jam like an earthquake? No. C, go further inland. Go further inland and as far as you can, right? A mile would be really good, but really it's, it's you wanna go elevate. You wanna elevate, okay? So you wanna go inland, you wanna go to the highest and safest place possible. So up a hill, up a mountain, not right near the beach, right? About a mile inland would be nice, if not higher, further. Um, if, there's no chance you could get to high land. If there's any type of building structures that are very high, you know, over 30 meters high or so, right? They recommend get to the highest place possible. Don't stay near the coastline, but here's the coast. So beautiful Pacific Ocean, if you guys live near the coast, like a lot of Californians do, right, just be aware of what to, what to do in case of a tsunami. A lot of cities that are on the coastline are prepared and they have manuals, they have flyers. You could go to the local fire departments, right, and they could educate you even further. But the thing is, be, be aware, be cautious, always pay attention, right? And, and know, know your dangers, and know your exit ways, and know your ways to get away and be safe. So thanks for watching. This is Firefighter Caffarata. I'm on the Pacific Ocean here at a marine reserve in Half Moon Bay. Join me next time for more fire safety tips. And uh, again, this is great. Thanks for watching. See you soon.